we want to find the greatest common factor of the two monomials. The greatest common factor of two monomials is the monomial with a coefficient that is the greatest whole number that divides the coefficients, which is also the greatest common factor of the coefficients, and with the greatest number of common variable factors. To help us determine the greatest common factor of the coefficients, let's find the prime factorization of 108 and 96. So for 108, let's begin with two times 54, two is prime. 54 is equal to nine times six, nine equals three times three, both are prime, and six equals two times three. For 96, let's begin with two times 48, two is prime. 48 is equal to eight times six, eight is equal to four times two, six equals two times three, and four is equal to two times two. So the prime factorization of 108 is two factors of two and three factors of three. The prime factorization of 96 is equal to five factors of two and a factor of three. Now let's look at the variable factors of the two monomials. Notice here we have five factors of x and here we have seven factors of x. And therefore the two monomials share five factors of x in common. So let's highlight x to the fifth. Notice here we have y to the third, and here we have y to the second. And therefore the two monomials share two factors of y in common. Let's highlight y to the second. And now to help us determine the greatest common factor of the two monomials, beginning with 108 x to the fifth, y to the third, let's write out the prime factorization of 108, which again is two factors of two and three factors of three. And because the two monomials share five factors of x in common, we'll leave x to the fifth as it is, so we have times x to the fifth. But because the two terms only share two factors of y in common, let's write y to the third as y to the second times y. Using exponents here prevents us from having to write out all of the factors of the variables. Now for 96, x to the seventh, y to the second, Let's write out the prime factorization of 96, which is five factors of two, and a factor of three. Now for x to the seventh though, because the two monomials only share five factors of x in common, let's write x to the seventh as x to the fifth times x to the second. And because the two monomials share two factors of y in common, we'll just write times y squared. In this form, we can easily identify all the common prime factors as well as the common variable factors. Notice how the two monomials share two factors of two in common, as well as one factor of three. Looking at the variables, notice how they share five factors of x in common, as well as two factors of y in common. The product of the common prime factors and common variable factors give us the greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor is equal to two times two times three times x to the fifth times y squared, which equals 12 x to the fifth y to the second. I hope you found this helpful.